In this short software demo, we will show you how you can quickly process batches of unknown food samples against a pesticide compound library to quickly detect and identify positive pesticides present in those samples. This workflow utilizes enhanced product ion MSMS spectra collected using an ABCIX QTRAP LC MSMS system. From the PeakView software interface, we select Master View, New Session. From here, we import the data files that we want to process against our compound library. In this case, we will select 13 of the food samples we analyzed in this batch. Once opened, the total ion chromatograms for these samples will appear in the top panel, a summary list of the samples will appear on the left side panel, and our data processing table in the center. Next, we open our compound list that we want to screen our samples against. In this case, we are opening our pesticide screening list. This pesticide list contains the names of all the pesticides in our MRM method, including the Q1 and Q3 masses, or the MRM transition information, and the expected retention time. Next, we'll open up the data processing settings. Here, we'll select the MSMS compound library we want to use for the screen. In this case, we select our pesticide library, and we also check the confidence settings for the data processing. For QTRAP Enhanced Product Ion MSMS Library Searching, we are only interested in the retention time and library hit scores. The acceptable scores entered here have been set up based on performance criteria identified in regulatory guidelines for retention time and based on our experience with library searching acceptability scores. Once these settings are entered into the software, they are saved for all future searches until manually edited. Now all we need to do is click the Process button and our 13 samples will be screened against our pesticide list and pesticide library to identify which of these pesticides were detected in our samples. By clicking on the Filter button in the middle right side of the interface, our table is reduced to only show the compounds that matched our data processing scores for retention time and MSMS library hit. You are also able to quickly see the number of positive results in each sample in the table on the left side of the screen. To review the spectra for the compounds identified in our samples, we simply click the Show MS and MSMS button, and the spectra panel appears where we can review our acquired data and how it compares to the library spectrum. From here, we can review all of the positive residues identified in our samples very quickly. Finally, we can either select the MultiQuant button to perform quantitative analysis if needed, or we could directly generate a report of the library search results with one click.